<laughs> hey, Joe, look who's here. Well, what do you know? It's a butcher. Oh, this is the night. For the first time ever. <laughs> on a two-disc Platinum <laughs> Edition DVD. Walt Disney's original classic, Lady and the Tramp. What a beautiful little lady. What a dog. He's a tramp, but they love him. Now, with picture and sound digitally restored beyond its original brilliance. It sounds wonderful. Critics call it one of Disney's most enduring classics. Open up your eyes to what a dog's life can really be. Walt Disney proudly presents Lady and the Tramp for the first time ever on a two-disc Platinum Edition DVD, February 28, 2006. Coming soon to theaters. the whole gang, Josh, Tessa, and Jaren. We're taking an exclusive movie surfer sneak peek at two of Disney's upcoming movies. Plus, you'll see an early look at some of the movie surfer segments we're already working on. First up is The Wild, a new computer animated movie about a young lion from the New York City Zoo who is accidentally shipped to the wilds of Africa. So his dad and some of their zoo friends make their way through the concrete jungles of New York to find the real jungles of Africa to rescue the missing cub. And surfers, you'll get to see what really happens in the zoo once all the humans leave. The zoo will officially be ours in T-minus three, two... Ready, and... And I got the chance to meet the director and one of the animators of the film. This is a huge, huge adventure. We basically are in New York City, the ocean, and the jungle. Uh, the villain in our film is uh, a wildebeest played by William Shatner. Bring us those lions! He's done a fantastic job at really sounding evil. No longer will we dwell at the bottom of the future. The Wild is coming to theaters soon. Next up, Tim Allen stars in Disney's new movie, The Shaggy Dog. Of course, you probably remember Tim Allen from the Santa Claus movies. Only this time, he doesn't turn into old Saint Nick. He turns into, well, a shaggy dog. Oh, he bit me. <laughs> shit. And the surfers get to sit down with Tim to talk about the movie. So, Tim, can you tell us who you play in the movie? I'm a dog, man. I'm Shaggy Dog. What would you say is the hardest part about being a dog? Dogs are constantly distracted by odors. <laughs> And the surfers get to hang out with some of the animals from the movie. This is Cole. So what tricks did this dog do in the movie? He's had to type on a computer. He's... How do you teach a dog to type on a computer? <laughs> we taught him to hold a pencil in his mouth. And then we taught him to put his head down and his head up. Good, head up. Head down. It's uh, quite a zoo on set. The shaggy dog is coming to theaters soon. Soul Surfers, there you have it. Your movie surfer sneak peek. And remember to catch more of Disney's movie surfers on Disney Channel, where we go behind the scenes of the latest Disney movies coming to theaters. Now available to own on DVD. Producer of Shrek and Shrek 2. Valiant Pigeon, reporting for duty, sir. Too small. You should be yay high, and you're not even hey high. <gasps> Charming. As homing pigeons, it's our duty to transport messages. In the worst of conditions, wind, rain, sleet, snow, bombs exploding, bullets flying. And as if that weren't enough, Mother Nature has the audacity to create the Falcon. <gasps> 20 pounds of pigeon-eating muscle. You know they'll send a crack team to rescue me. <laughs> These new recruits are our only chance. We're the ones they picked to send in the most important mission. Now, 
This band of misfits is doing it for love. Hello, nurse. What? Oh, do you have a little something for a brave pigeon about to go into battle? Hey, darling. Is this what you had in mind? <laughs> for honor. Fly, pigeons, fly. <laughs> Oh, oh dear. For country. Amazing action! Come on! Gentlemen, get ready to drop! I think I've dropped already! Go, go, go! This is sabotage! Sabotage! <laughs> when duty called. Pardonnez-moi. Do you speak French? Does ooh la la mean anything to you? They delivered. That boy's gonna get cream. <laughs> Walt Disney Pictures presents a Vanguard animation production. At least have some breakfast before you go home. <laughs> oh, Mom. <laughs> Mom. Oh, no, thanks. Valiant. <laughs> Goodbye. Come and get me, Falcons! Available to own on DVD and video. What does a guy in Hollywood get when he's big on biceps and small on brain cells? No, that's not it. His own movie. <laughs> Croc's New Groove. You should be treating a groove. All new, all groove, mostly croc. Hey, Bucky. Uh, uh, a squeaky squeak. An all new motion picture. Now on Disney DVD. There is no I in team. There's a me in mediocre. first did Once Upon a Mattress off-Broadway, and it was supposed to be just a little six-week uh, run. It was a subscription theater, and it caught on, and it moved uptown to Broadway, and it ran for a year. It was a big success for Carol on Broadway, playing the part that Trace is playing. So it's very interesting for her, I'm sure, to come back to a well-loved musical, which I think lends itself so well to film. Carol Burnett has talked a lot about, about her history with this project. I was cast in Once Upon a Mattress in early 1959, and then I was cast in the Gary Moore Show the following fall. So for a few months, I didn't have one day off. Well, this one Sunday matinee, I got up on those mattresses and I fell asleep in front of the audience. I must have been out 15 seconds, something like that. And I remember the stage manager saying, Carol, 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 wake up, Carol. And I jumped up like that, and I, oh my God, I'm on stage and all this, the audience is out there. So we talked to the producers and they changed the schedule so I could have one day off a week.
This is a musical that is written in the 1950s, you know, Mary Rogers music, beautiful. And there's something about these kind of wonderful classic American musicals that have such energy to them and such exuberance and such joy, but also a touch of whimsy and silliness. And I think that's my favorite kind of stuff to do. If ever you tell anybody, oh, I'm doing Once Upon a Mattress, they say, I did that in high school, because there's lots of girls' parts. And let's face it, the girls are always looking to do stuff in high school dramatic classes. And it's always, you know, there's not enough musicals with girls' parts in them. I think it's the third most performed show in the country. Um, in community theaters, colleges, uh, high schools, grammar schools. I did this play in high school. I was the jester and the minstrel because they had no tenors in my high school. It's so funny. It's just such, it's, a, it's a very clever show. It's just got such funny dialogue. Oh, Winifred's so formal. <laughs> Call me by my nickname. Winnie. Fred. Fred. <laughs> my favorite kind of comedy comes from desperation anyway. And most of the characters in Once Upon a Mattress desperately want something. And I love that. I love that they're all desperate for something. So is it possible the pound, 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 pound charge like a sort of 360? <laughs> but that was great. This show is directed and choreographed by a fabulous Broadway director, choreographer Kathleen Marshall, and she has that work ethic of a Broadway dancer, and she was in Cats for eight years or something. There. We were so thrilled that she, A, wanted to do it, and B, was available. There we go. All right. The great thing about Kathleen and, and her theater background is that, yeah, she does bring it all to the stage and she's made it very comfortable for actors and then when you get here if you just do a little look to the door once you pick it up like Ooh, here they come Ooh. yeah great and what's been wonderful is that before we even uh, started filming we've all been together and getting to know each other and and have fun together and believe me rehearsing with Tracy Ullman is a blast because you know all of a sudden other characters show up you know and <laughs> and amuse us for a little while it's great can I pass the test <laughs> <laughs> This process has been sort of like theater in that we've gotten to rehearse for four weeks. I bow to you all. My first love has always been the theater. It feels like doing a big Broadway show, and yet, you know, 20 million people are going to watch it. This is really the first sort of really cinematic production of Once Upon a Mattress, so that we can get in close and we can be a little more subtle with reactions. You know, the king can say a lot with one little roll of the eyes. You know, the queen can say a lot with one little frown of the mouth. I just think it's wonderful that it's going to be shown this way. It's cinematic now. Next. I'm so thrilled, of course, that I'm in my Bob Mackie design outfits. They are absolutely funny. I mean, you know, look. At the moment, we have a panty line problem. We're dealing with it, aren't we? We have noticed this. And then Chris Hargaden is designing everybody else in the show, which is enormous. We have seven other principal characters, uh, many sort of courtiers and pages and guards. He rang me. I was in London and we spoke. He said, well, you know, you're working a lot with Carol Burnett and she's being dressed in Bob Mackie costumes. Is she ever? And so we think we're going to have to make you quite bold. Well, they've certainly done that. It's a kind of interesting amalgamation of color and uh, glitter between she and I. They had some sort of cool little, you know, wingy wangs going up there and some, but it, it, it's great. I'm working out like a fiend so I can fit into my jester tights. So lots of treadmill, lots of Stairmaster, and liposuction. <laughs> I've got my Halloween costume sorted out already. <laughs> I love the cast that we've assembled for Once Upon a Mattress because we have the sort of best of Broadway, of television, and of film, and they all sort of understand the process of putting a musical together, which is different than putting, you know, a sort of dramatic film together. Carol Burnett is my mother, Tommy's mother's is my father, and my girlfriend is Tracy Ullman. You know, you can't get much better than that. I was watching Dennis, and Carol, and Tom's mother's, and Michael Boatman, and Edward Hibbert, and they're all so great. And it's really exciting for me. There's not a diva in the bunch. Even though I look like one, I haven't been well. I haven't been well at all. You know, I think that Carol and Tracy have such wonderful admiration for each other, which shows. And I think Carol is absolutely thrilled to be sort of passing the baton to Tracy in a way as Winifred. Here I am. I mean, yeah, I'm 44. I don't get played, asked to play princesses very often nowadays, believe it or not. But it was all right, because I was tired of being a sex symbol. Who's the lucky chap? 
it's very interesting for me to be on this side as the queen and see how not only Tracy but uh, all the other actors are taking these roles and making them their own. And uh, I'm fascinated by it. I'm enjoying the heck out of it. I have loved the show and loved the music for so long. And it's my favorite thing to do, which is sort of a musical and a comedy at the same time. It's, it's just great. It's, it's very joyous and very exuberant. It's a blast to work on. Super it's a really top line quality show. And this is going to be a classic that will last for many, many years. And I'm thrilled to be a part of it. Exotic, Verticus. <laughs> Do you know what you want? Sex on a stick. Oh, wow. It's the festive leggings. I can't so, yeah. being an actor, love, is it very rewarding? <laughs> but darling, we love the feet, don't we? <laughs> well, these feel really strange. <laughs> Ugh, that's sort of strange, these. Really How do you get a motivation for this? Well, I've been watching those the birds in Stanley Park. Yes. the way I can move these um, oh, we'll get you crossing that your I think feet. we must have a lot of yes. coverage of the this feet. Is, hey, you know Trash. what I'm doing? How are you good? Oh, mm -hmm. I'm recording already. Yeah. <laughs> Quit moving around. You tracking? You moving around? What are you doing? Where am I going now? Where am I going? <laughs> Oh, I have, I have man come in. He only have three toes. He pick a color. He pick purple. Oh, yeah. Listen, forget about it. Get him out of here. Forget about it. <laughs> hey, how you doing, salami head? Thank you so much.
somewhere deep in space, a new kind of evil threatens the universe. And our only hope is a new force of power. Power Rangers Space Patrol Delta Volumes 1 through 5. Earth depends on you. They're stronger. This is a liar! They're faster. But they're still in training. Perp at 2 o'clock. That's 9 o'clock, Sid. Now you can be a part of the action with all new bonus features, including a virtual simulator game where you can learn to fly like a ranger. When our planet is in peril... Say goodnight, friend. ...they take action. Power Rangers SPD, Volumes 1 through 5. Collect them all now on DVD and video. This is nuts. Have some pork nuts. They're filling and they're delicious. That's what I wanted. Yeah. For the first time on Disney DVD. Hey, I'm new, I'm fresh. Two Disney Channel favorites. The Proud Family Movie and That's So Raven, Raven's House Party. Check it out, y'all. Penny Proud and her family are setting out on one nutty vacation. Ah, yeah, baby. I know my nuts now. I know your nuts, too. That quickly turns into one shell of a nightmare. When I combine your proud family DNA with my patented peanut cloning technology, the result will have you seeing double. You about to get your butt whooped. Plus, Raven's house party is a comedy blowout as she and her friends get their groove on. Let's get this party started. Check you out. With a never-before-seen episode. Let's go to the studio. Okay, okay. Two Disney Channel favorites. It's to die for. <laughs> Let's watch it again. Now on Disney DVD. I see the future, Mr. Proud, and it's nuts. Good morning, Powers family! Extreme Makeover Home Edition on DVD. It's the show that rebuilds homes. I can't be our house. Restores hope. The tree that was planted for my dad, it was just so heartfelt. And changes lives forever. The Walswicks, they've actually been hit with some really terrible stuff. So do you guys miss your dad a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Where is he? He's up in heaven. Are you ready to see your new house? Yeah! Something like finally good happened to us. Join Ty Pennington and his design team. We're gonna give him a new beginning. In the most unbelievable makeovers from season one. And only on this DVD, experience unforgettable bonus features, including a very special look at just what it took to make this show a reality. It's the DVD that will touch your heart and make you cheer. This is more than any of us kids could have ever asked for. Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Own it on DVD today. Tips on handling pesky in-laws by Dr. Charles Shanowski. Based on personal experience with his wife's sister. I thought I was going to have to carry my own luggage. <laughs> First, try the intimidation method. And if that doesn't work, there's the tough love technique. Breathe. Finally, the ultimatum. One month, and then you're moving out. Fine with me. 60 days is all the time I'll need. Watch Hope and Faith for more related tips. A new season Fridays this fall only on ABC.